Now this. Dear Santa dude, here's oh. my Christmas list. And <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I saw this pop up while we were away. <laughs> I hate when our old stuff pops up. I hate oh, it. No. Wait, dear Thank Santa God dude. it's not me this time. Oh, no. I hate when they find this shit. That's, uh, that's, oh. I got it cranked. Oh, 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 God. I got it cranked no. over here. All right, let me hear this. Oh. It's from AF, oh, the only really? station that really rocks. I've never heard this. When Anthony was all in with production. I had to do production. I, that's when uh, I got one of my many nicknames. Um, oh, Slappy. Slappy. <laughs> Ovi's nickname was Slappy because he'd slap the production together so fast and get out of there. And meanwhile, everything, like I said, was all new to me. I, I just loved being there. I so took advantage of your enthusiasm. Oh. Because at that point, I was in the business, I don't know, probably 10 years. Right. And you were you were brand spanking brand new. new. And I took advantage of your enthusiasm. We both uh, after the show. I know we've told the story many times. E Rock would would certainly agree. But when we were at AF uh, Radio Guys, um, you, you had to work weekends. You had to work holidays. You had to do production. You had to yep. do appearances. Fast forward a bunch of years, we don't have to do any of that anymore, thank God. But there was a time we had to do all of it. And uh, you would finish with your radio show, and then you had to go in the production room and, and do production, which meant, do like, production. voicing commercials or tagging commercials. And, yeah. And they, and, they, and they wouldn't even – they would just give you the script, and then it was really important for you to be creative. So you had to find music and really make it fucking work. Yeah, yeah. And when we first got to AF, uh, our production piles were exactly even. Yeah. Even. Like, here, do a couple tags for this. Here's a script <laughs> for this. And uh, I slapped mine together. <laughs> and they would praise Anthony's work. Oh. And he was so brand new to the business back then that, I mean, getting praised like that, you're like, oh, oh fuck. This is fantastic. I'm going to win an award for this. My <laughs> award-winning work. I did win an award. You did? I don't for, remember. For uh, one of my... Uh, um, Sir Morgan's Cove? No, I think it was from that head shop or something. All right. Was it an air was award? It? No, it was uh, It was a, a, one of the sponsor awards or fucking whatever it Which was. Which homeless guy it has, might have been an air award. has that an award? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. That got thrown out. But, uh, oh, I would sit there for hours on end, dubbing, overdubbing, redoing the music. That isn't good enough. That, and I go, fucking hours. and I would go in, I'll, I'm out of here, I'll see you, you're done already? Yeah, man, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And I find out the next day you were there till 10, 10, 30, Oh, yeah, I'd be there till 10, just fucking. <laughs> Fine-tuning your production. Yes, yes, honing my craft. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember these types of commercials, because there'd be a script. Right. And that's it. The... And the production guy, what was his name? Oh, God damn. Uh, was, it sucks when you forgot guy. his name. We he liked cool him a guy. lot. Yeah. Oh, had that had that voice and everything. Yeah, he did. Yeah. How, how do we, we not remember him? No. We remember most of the guys. It's always the way. Who who was the engineer guy with the glasses? Oh, the, the, and the, the drill. The big guy. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. Uh, big guy. Well, he was a big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is uh, some. We can have this conversation Eric? after. Eric, very good. Yeah, yeah, that was Eric. Well, how, how do we not remember the production guy? He was cool to us too. <laughs> Everyone was great to us up there. Yeah. Just about everyone. But uh, he would give me these scripts like this and be like, uh, just do this one in kind of a California surfer dude. Right. And then throw some music on it and right. have fun with it. And then he would see me and go, hey, uh, I, I, I got you five, three five-second tags. Five, you seven, think you can handle yeah. that one, Slappy? So all <laughs> Opie would have to do is go... On Fox 25. Tonight on Fox 25. Right, right. And, but the Tomorrow whole thing on taped. Fox 25. It was like a tape thing <laughs> that was already there of like, so catch this show. Duh. And then he would just be like, tonight on Fox 25. <laughs> that was his production. <laughs> and I'd be sitting there until 1030 at night, overdubbing vocals. and. Uh, you learned, though. Ah, uh, you know. You learned quick certainly enough. Certainly did. I remember, like, you had to have music, but you're not supposed to talk over the vocals. And I would just leave oh, me talking God. over vocals. And they're like, and I would explain, no, man, it's kind of different. It's cool this way. I'd find the music part. And if the vocals <laughs> came in too quick before I was done talking, right. I would have to find the perfect spot to cut it. <laughs> right. And then re-loop the music in seamlessly. What? Opie would just be talking <laughs> over the, the vocals, which is like the, the commercial no-no when uh, you're doing that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are we playing from there? Uh, you you yeah, you got a little more, more volume over there, maybe? Maybe. Let's try it from oh, over God, here. So, this is so embarrassing. So this old uh, production piece, commercial, when we were working in the Boston area. Uh, the fuck found this? Popped up over, over break, and, uh, and it was brought to our attention. Let me know when you want me to pause it. Uh, okay, here's God. Anthony. Oh, God. Oh, uh, can you start over? I fucked up. Oh, God. <laughs> Dear Santa Dude, here's my Christmas list. A new nose ring, lava lamp, leather jacket, new OP. Now I know you have your elves working pretty hard, so I'm going to make it easy on you this year. You see, everyone's going to that cool mall, the Sears Town Mall in Levenster. It's your one-stop shop for everything this holiday. The Gap, Record Town, Spencer Gifts, Jeans West, Wilson Suede and Leather are all at the Sears Town Mall in Levenster. And Santa, if you're running a little tight this year, there's always deals for a dollar. The Sears Town Mall is so convenient. Located at the junction. Of 2 and 190 in Levenster. And dude, check out the Secret yes. Santa 2000 in the atrium. Win great gifts, including a two year lease on a Ford Ranger from Jarvis Ford in Air. Or one of five Bahamas getaways, which includes three night vacation packages for two to the Princess Resort and Casino. Featuring non stop flight from Hartford to Grand Bahama Island, courtesy of Sears Town Mall and Princess Vacation. Some restrictions apply. Happy holidays from Sears Town Mall in Levenster. So, isn't this great? Oh, oh, Jimmy's just looking at me. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad for the time. I had a little sympathy for Mopey, exactly. It's not bad for the time. What more. time would that be? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand he was multi-tracking there? Oh, I, yeah, it's I heard all the fucking multi-tracking. I have no technical issues with that. Oh, <laughs> this, is not a, this is not a look of disgust over the technical issues. <laughs> what? It was good for the time. We were oh, talking to a younger audience. Yeah. Ugh. I'm going to defend my pal. What, 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 what year was that that it was good for? Nin 19 douche a douche? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Santa dude. Uh, I know. Santa dude. Hey. <laughs> Hey. Why that accent? Because that's how the kids were talking. I, I, I don't know. It's like, whoa, the young dude. Yeah. It was like, what was that, 96? Mm. That wasn't even good for Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That was 15 years after that movie. Yeah, I, <laughs> we were bitter by the time we got fired in 98. So I would say, yeah, 96. <laughs> say. Trying to sound like, you know, like, like you oh. were, like what, just like a younger guy? Like, like, whoa, yeah. you know. Santa whoa. dude. Uh, People uh, think that's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Santa dude. Yeah. Wow, he must be young like us. Oh, no. I, <laughs> Jimmy, I wasn't trying to come off like wow. like it was me. That was a character like Mr. Amos. He, uh, he's young like us. <laughs> like us. <laughs> we were so uh, much older than our audience. Oh, I know. We were talking to 15-year-olds. Oh. Uh, you know. Santa dude? <laughs> yeah, Santa dude. Santa dude. That's how we would say it amongst each other. I'm Santa dude. Uh, oh, I could do it. So, yeah. well, look out. Do you want to do your you want to do your next read? In Lemonster. Yeah, Lemonster. 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 They put more info in that fucking spot. Talking about cars and plane trips, the Bahamas. That was a lot of mall. words. A yeah. lot of words. Holy man. shit. Sure. Had to fit it in a 60. Yeah. Got it in 58. Yeah. Nice. Dude. Fucking 58. Sound like a crazy hot teenager. Zombie would go to a 45. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a 45, and that was leaving like music fading at the end. I wish, <laughs> I I wish we could find some of that, because he's oh. not lying. I was waiting for me to pop in at the end of that. Open Sundays till night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Wow, that is really going back. Your production pile was ridiculous. They used to give me all the fucking shit. They yeah. wanted to use all your voices and yeah, and all your enthusiasm. Yep. I so. did a, a Cheech and Chong one. Yeah, you did. Oh, boy. Yeah. Cheech dude. A Cheech dude. Santa yeah. dude. Santa dude. <laughs> Santa dude. Oh. What's the matter? Coming from Santa douche. <laughs> you don't like Santa dude? I certainly don't. It was really embarrassing, yeah. Nah. Um, you hear about the uh, the guy that was fired for using the N-word at work? Um, yeah, what happened? And then they went to court mm -hmm. to yeah. determine if um, it's a truly a bad word. So you've got a black boss and a black uh, woman who works for the black boss. And yeah. uh, he threw around the N-word. 
and uh, that cost him uh, two hundred eighty thousand, or the company two hundred eighty thousand. Did they fire the guy too? I don't know. I he said it was a term of affection. Yeah, he was trying to say like, no, black people using it with each other is a term of affection, and uh, you can't, you know, sue me for this. But I guess he wasn't using it as a term of affection. But. It, it's like I'm, I have mixed feelings on this because I hate to see people get fired, but it's a white boss said nigger to it. You're done. Yeah. So it's yeah, like yeah. it's fair to see that everyone getting the same shit in the language. A Manhattan yeah, jury. This is a local story. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, Manhattan jury awarded two hundred eighty thousand to a black woman who was repeatedly called the N word by her boss, who's also black, and claimed to use the vile epithet as an endearing vile. term. Yeah, that's what I do. My voice was heard today, Brandy Johnson said Tuesday, after the eight-person federal jury awarded her $30,000 in punitive damages on top of the 250000 it had already uh, ordered uh, Strive and its founder, Rob Cormona, mm. to pay her in a dis uh, discrimination case. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Carmona's voice was also heard by the jury on a damning tape recording Johnson this is, this story is written really fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's like our copy. Wait, on a damn damning tape recording, okay, Johnson had made of her boss chewing her out uh, in March of 2012. Fucking wired herself up. She, she yep, she went in with a wire. We're in a wire. I'm not saying using the term. I don't. I, I just don't say the word myself. Yeah, I, just uh, once. Nigger. 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 One of the best uses of that word was in 48 hours. When fucking um, Nick no, Nolte, yeah, Nick Nolte <laughs> turned to Eddie Murphy and goes, "Hey, uh, sorry about you know, nigger watermelon." <laughs> 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 it was so sincere the yeah. way he said it. <laughs> Can we hear that? Oh, I haven't heard that in so years. So fucking funny, man. I'm not saying using the term nigger derogatory because sometimes it's good to know when to act like a nigger, but you all act, act like niggers all the time, Carmona said. Oh, boy, that'll get you. And he's saying that's a term of affection? When yeah. Johnson told her boss she was offended by his language, he said, you could be offended, but it's true. You and her act like niggers. And mm. niggers uh, let their feelings rule them, he said. Oh, man. Carmona didn't dispute making the comments, but maintained that he was doing out, uh, doling out, excuse me, tough love. That's not like, you know, my nigger. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, like, yeah. He was. Uh, he testified that he was trying to tell Johnson she was too emotional, wrapped up in the negative aspects of human nature. Oh, so what a wacky word that is, man. Yeah, it's just one person uses it. It's completely different than another person using it. And you could use it for fun and hijinks and affection or the epitome of hatred <laughs> it's really fucked up yeah he said the word can sometimes be used to convey love and use the example of someone saying this is my nigga yeah yeah so that means my boy i love him or whatever carmona said uh, asked if he meant to indicate love when he called johnson the word he said yes i did <laughs> there's a big difference you. in the terms there when you, this is my nigga and if you say instead of my you say mine yeah <laughs> right <laughs> Exactly. It's amazing how fucking ugly that becomes. Yes. I guess the woman <laughs> cried in the bathroom for 45 minutes after this tirade. Well, she probably I was a nice hurt. log stuck. Felt degraded. <laughs> Felt disrespected. I was embarrassed. <laughs> She's crying because she had one of those fucking one of those fucking asshole skin rippers. <laughs> Is there anything worse than you trying to fucking fire out of shit and you like? Do have I ever had fluid in my body? It's like I'm passing a fucking. A rock through a dry vein. Yes. <laughs> and it, it just, it, and then it comes out, uh, and you're like, what was hurting me so much? Holy shit. Going wow. around the corner, yeah. I guess. I don't know. You don't sit properly on the bowl. Oh. Sometimes it feels like a corner. fucking porcupine coming yeah. out. I'm shitting yeah. a sea urchin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't this think that one's it. No, it, was ah, later dude. On. it wasn't a big scene Senator. like with, with the fight or anything. That's why it's tough to find. It was one of those where he's just, man, I'm sorry. Mm. So, mm. I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to. Uh, Should be home giving my wife the high hard one. Boy, he throws that word around a lot in this movie. movie. Oh, God. Spear chucker. And Fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Cates. What that was a good fucking movie. Does it hold up? I haven't seen uh, that one in years. You know what? It holds up in that it's an 80s movie. <laughs> okay. So as an 80s movie, and knowing it is, it still holds up. Gotcha. As opposed to something like Cobra, where you know it's an 80s movie, and it doesn't hold up. It gets better. 
It, it gets better because it sucks so bad. Right. But 48 Hours was just good. And what, it's what still dates good. It? Uh, the music. Oh, they got the music yeah, going? Yeah, some of the fucking styles in that it. Casio you know, the shit, chicks. basically. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and just the way they made movies back then. But, uh, fuck. It's so cool. That bar scene is classic, man. Yeah. Just here to help you, officer. Yeah, fucking great one. That, that is a great comedy. And it's before cop buddy movies yeah. became so watered down and shitty. Yeah. Like that's why Lethal Weapon works. Right. Because it was, you know, it was believable yeah, and yeah. funny and At like, you know, time, right. wasn't that this adorable yeah, now I can't even sit through, you know, a lot of these fucking you know, my, apparently Mark Wahlberg has become the guy for these police buddy movies. Uh he's got another one coming out. I, Two guns. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, Sam, a dude. <laughs> Yo, Sam, dude. What? What? Nothing. Oh, uh, you missed Santa, dude. Sam, dude. Oh, Santa, dude, man. Oh, oh. it was good. Yeah. Yeah. It was terrific. Then I used my other voice for Ten Show Club. <laughs> yeah. Ten Show Club. Beautiful girls. <laughs> Yeah, that was. A I mean, good we can one. play it again if Sam wants to. Hear yeah, it. Sam didn't. Oh hear it. no! Oh, no. Oh, well, oh. Yeah. You so, sure? Uh, yeah. I mean, just so everyone's on the same page. The whole thing. Uh -oh. Dear Santa, dude, here's my Christmas list: a new nose ring, lava lamp, leather jacket, new open. Now I know you have your elves working pretty hard, so I'm gonna make it easy on you this year. You see, everyone's going to that cool mall, the Sears Town Mall in Lemonster. It's your one-stop shop for everything this holiday. The Gap, Record Town, Spencer Gifts, Jeans West, Wilson Suede, the leather, are all at the Sears you know. Town Mall in yeah, Lemonster. And music. Santa, if you're yeah. running a little tight this year, there's always deals for a dollar. The Sears Town Mall is so convenient, located at the junction. Of two and 190 in uh, Lemonster. And dude, check out the Secret uh, Santa 2000 in the atrium. Win great gifts, including a two year lease on a Ford Ranger from Jarvis Ford in Air. Or uh, one of five Bahamas getaways, which includes three night vacation packages for two to the Princess Resort and Casino. Featuring uh, non stop flight from Hartford to Grand uh, Bahama uh, Island, courtesy of Sears Town Mall and Princess Vacation. Yeah. Some restrictions apply. Happy holidays from Sears Town Mall in Lemonster. Good job, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Happy holiday. I also remember like they would have they would have the music library. Yeah. And I guarantee you, you listened to about ten or twelve tracks. Oh yeah, yeah. And finally found the one you liked. There was three different tracks in that. Oh, there was okay, the you're... beginning one where it was mellow because right. I'm just doing the list, and then the middle one where it kind of starts kicking in, and mm -hmm. then the big bono. And and I always made sure I changed the music on a, a vocal like accent. Oh my god! To make really? sure it like yeah, it gave it that oomph. I picked the first one. Oh, we would pick the first <laughs> song on the fucking. Disc. This one uh, is asking for an up tempo <laughs> number, so I would go into the up tempo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> number one. And works. they were all these sideways <laughs> versions of popular songs. Right, right. Like you'd you'd need some grunge thing, <laughs> right. and it would be like this ha almost Nirvana song <laughs> right. done in some studio. It's got all about that. Oh God, douche chills, Anthony. WTF? What well, what WTF is that? I was doing my job. <laughs> I had to do my job. They loved it. The sales staff oh, loved sales Anthony's production. Loved it exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, yes. well, I guess finance. You're right. I heard really loved it. <laughs>